On the missing mom investigation as the month long search for Jennifer Farber Dulos continues. Her mother wants answers from the woman charged in connection to her daughter's disappearance, Michelle Traconis. She's been fighting to gain access to financial records for her son in law's construction company. Now they're hoping his girlfriend can help. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris is joining us live from West Hartford, where that deposition is happening as we speak. Eva? Good afternoon to you, Kara. Michelle Traconis and her attorney got here shortly before 10 o'clock. They had nothing to say as they headed inside. Now, it is unclear how long this will take or what the outcome will be, but it could take several hours. Without saying a word or acknowledging our camera, Michelle Draconis and her attorney Andrew Bowman walked straight through the doors of this building on South Main Street in West Hartford. They headed upstairs to Richard Weinstein's office. He represents Gloria Farber, the mother of Jennifer Farber Dulos. As of this week, Farber Dulos went missing four months ago from New Canaan after dropping her kids off at school. Her estranged husband, Fotis Dulos, and his girlfriend, Michelle Draconis, have been charged in connection to her disappearance. As the investigation into what happened continues, Continues. There's been an ongoing civil dispute between Farber and Dulos. She's been going after Dulos for money she says he owes. Farber claims Dulos built his company, the Four Group, with family loans, but only paid back some of that money. She says Dulos still owes the remaining $2.5 million. But Dulos's legal team has maintained that money was a gift. Today, Farber's attorney has called on Draconis to share what she knows about the company's finances. Both sides have been staying mom about today, with Farber's attorney posting a note on his office door reading in part, I will have no comment in regard to Ms. Draconis's deposition. Again, this deposition could take several hours today. Now, we are told that Fotis Dulos is watching what's happening off-site. Now, be sure to stay with us not only on air, but, of course, on our Channel 3 app for the very latest on this story today. Live in West Hartford, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.